Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. For 69 years, the Vermont Handcrafters Annual Show has been a holiday tradition. Through the generations, the show has featured products made by hand by our friends and neighbors from all across the state of Vermont. To learn about this year's show, I'm joined by Vermont Handcrafters Director of Events, Elizabeth Boudreaux. Good to have you back on Across the Fence. Good morning. It's nice to see you again. So when and where is this year's show? Well, it's going to be um, online again this year. This will be our second year of an interactive online show. It's November 20th and 21st. And if you want to pre-register, you can go to www.vermonthandcrafters.com and just click where it says to pre-register. Okay, and it's, it's wonderful that you can have it online. It's so sad that we can't be in person, but that's really uh, terrific that you put the work in uh, to have this online and people can do it from the comfort of their home. So walk us through how it works. So um, you can, on Saturday morning, when we first, at nine o'clock, you can, or right before, go to our, our website, www.vermonthandcrafters.com and click shop show. Just click the button and then um, it'll bring you right to the show. And all the artists that are uh, participating in the show will have a, uh, like a booth set up and you can click on their booth and it'll show you different pictures. Um, if they're there and live, you can chat with them if you want. Click on chat and you can talk to them. Um, otherwise, it'll take you right to their website. You can scroll through. There'll be a lot of different artists. Um, so it's going to be fun. Wonderful. So let's check some of those out. We're going to preview a number of the artists and items that you um, have. So go ahead, Elizabeth, and get us started. So this is the Green Sugar House, Richard and Pam Green from Pulteney, Vermont and they have great maple everything. Um, this is a gift package that they have. So go, you know, if you got people to send a gift to, go right out. This is India Trestle from, um, and she's Yarn Dance from Westford, Vermont. And she does fine knit uh, knitting and tamari balls. That's what you're seeing in the middle. Mm. Aren't they real, mm -hmm. beautiful and bright colored? Mm. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Oh, Deidre Donnelly. She does Irish symbol inspired um, jewelry of, with uh, gold and silver. Aren't uh, I just love all of her work. And this is Paige Canfield, carved designs from Callis, Vermont. And she does greeting cards. And aren't, aren't they beautiful? The coloration. She does calendars, mini calendars, um, all kinds of beautiful. They yeah, they, they are. I've gotten her cards uh, as gifts. They're beautiful. And all of what we're seeing actually is made um, in Vermont by Vermonters. It is our friends and neighbors, as we like to say. <laughs> it's always so exciting. Oh, Christine Pratt. This is a tea cozy in a hand towel, hand woven with, um, I think it's linen and cotton. And look at those little sheep. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> Great. And oh, I love this. This is Church Street. This is a new member, mm -hmm. Janet Beal, and she's a Burlington. And that's people on Church Street. It's a print sure. and it's watercolor and ink. Sweet. Makes you want to go back to Church Street. <laughs> this is Mags Bonham and Mags is of um, Waterbury. And it, she's a polymer clay artist. And these are those beautiful nail files that she's mm. done decorative tops on. You know, the forever nail files that never break and oh my god crystal they're gorgeous sure terrific and this is a bag by cindy um Grieby of newport center and i love her bags i love the tapestry they're full of pockets this has handles and a strap for over the shoulder these zips here it's got everything you could ever want in a pocketbook that's terrific. They're beautiful. So, and, and, and some of the artists will actually have their studios open to the public uh, oh, yeah. during, during the same time. Yeah. Well, which is really exciting. Um, Wind's Edge Gallery, which is located in Johnson, Vermont, is going to be open Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5 each day. This is Matt C. Schultz of Wind's Edge Gallery. He does blown glass. Look at those Santas. Mm. And aren't they fun? I love the melted Santa and the trees. <laughs> and his wife, Marion, she's the one that does the incredible ice dyeing. These are all 
um, hand dyed. Those are, you know, little mm. scar capelets. And then they're going to have a guest artist there also, Mita Strick. And she does hand carved angels and elves, as you can see, pa hand carved, hand painted. Aren't they adorable? Mm -hmm. Lovely. So that's going to be fun. This is Marsha Drake. And Marsha Drake is, um, she, that's a beautiful sterling silver intertwined with uh, circles with a 14 karat gold fill. Isn't that gorgeous? And a double chain on one side. And this is Sweet Basil Cards, um, which is uh, Megan Humphrey of Burlington. And aren't those beautiful cards? Yeah, my, my friend Megan, she does beautiful work. And this, I love her work. This is oh, Allison yeah. Chase. Yes, Allison Chase. She does hand towels. Those are all her designs. She does all kinds of different home good items, floor mats. Um, you'll have to check out her stuff. You'll love it. So some Here's of sorry some of those were, were will be in johnson live as well as online yes right yes very yeah. very cool so uh vermont handcrafters also has of course specialty food artists will, will they be participating as well this year yes um rachel smith of Pin Up pickles i just love her stuff these are her uh, bread and butter pickles and they are aren't they it's a they're crisp and sweet all of her stuff she does Chutney, she does all kinds of wonderful preserved things. Hmm. She'll be um, online. And this right here is um, Christine Henninger. She's a new artist of Grand Isle. And this is a photo that she has enhanced and you can get them in all different sizes. I just love the colorations. Hmm. It just feels so cool. And next, oh, Dust Pets, Allison, <laughs> Alyssa and Jason Kenwood. Now this is a seven piece band, isn't that fun? And you can buy them individually or as a whole and it's all made out of nuts and bolts and their work is uh, so cool, I love that. Right. So even things for the men. I mean, I would get that, but also it's, it's nice yeah, to have men, gifts for men. Yes, it is. And this is a tote bag and this is from Beth Dubin, so colorful Vermont. I love, she does tote bags and different um, uh aprons and all kinds of different things i just love i love flamingos so this is one of my favorites <laughs> terrific <laughs> and and vermont um handcrafters artists are also known for taking the traditional and 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 making it their own they are and no one's better than that than carla white look mm. at her quilts her quilts are unbelievable mm. this is wow. called the mushroom it's a, um, the four mushrooms and all the little green moss you see, she cut up threads and then the little caps are done separately and applique on so that um, it has a real 3D. There were art quilts, it's, they're like paintings. Sure. Oh, and my, one of my favorite also, I love this gal. She is um, Christine Richland. Look at the advent calendars. Mm. Isn't that a fun thing? And she mm -hmm. does all kinds of whimsical animal prints. I just, I love her work. Oh, oh, and this is um, from Marble Meadows, Sue Carey of Wallingford, Vermont. And that is, a, she's a, a shepherd's uh, braided rug with a felted, she's a hand felter with hmm. a felted, um, you know, oh. The so polar, polar bear, bear that, that polar bear oh, is very, hanging. it's beautiful. <laughs> Isn't it? It's a wall hanging, actually. She's mm -hmm. got a loop on the back, so um, you can hang it. Oh, and Daryl stores. <laughs> you know, Daryl is a printmaker. Uh, not a print. She's a linoleum. Uh, 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 block. She does. Right. She's a block uh, print. She does and block prints. Can't quite get it out there. Isn't this beautiful? Very holiday winter feeling Woo! gives me the chills just looking at it, at it. <laughs> i have a couple oh. of her earrings and well, look at this oh i love this clothing yes this is our um uh ellen howard she does all her um hand dyeing and printing it's all of her own work it's they're bright i own several of her things and i just the, just the touch of them on your body is so cozy well, I'm so glad there's clothing. Of course, I'm wearing my Marsha Hammond, which I got years years ago at the at the crafters, and my my earrings I, I also got at um, at the show. Uh, so I'm glad to see there'll be clothing. With will there be other other clothing there? 
Yes, there will be. Of course, Marion will be there with her tie dye stuff. There'll be several other things. So um, if you have a love of clothing, women's clothing, <laughs> which of course I do. <laughs> oh, and this is a Muddy Toads terrarium. Um, isn't that, aren't those fun? Mm -hmm. They are um, hand done terrariums and they can be shipped and she does them um, to order. I just think I love the zebra like uh, um, plant in there. Oh, and this is Allison Corn and Allison Corn's designs are um, they're made with their silver and they're inspired. They're inspired by nature. Nature, nature inspired. Beautiful. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, and this is Peabody uh, Mountain at Poppy. Uh, Apiaries. Apiaries. I always say that wrong. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's and made that, from bees, beeswax. Yeah. yeah, beeswax. They have illuminaries, they have candles, and they also do jewelry, which so is. Um, we're, mm -hmm. we're running out of time, so just a quick glimpse at the, of the next two. Oh, Here's this one. is Kate, Kate Lutz, yep. Positive Pearls, hand felted uh, bowl. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. And what's the next? And do we have one more? One more. Oh, and this, yeah, N3 Pottery. I have this mug. My husband's a beekeeper. I love it. They're hand, it's hand carved um, pottery. So many great items and all made here in Vermont. Um, Elizabeth, so the show is coming this weekend. Uh, it's a great way to support all the local economies. And because of continued uncertainty with COVID, uh, this year's show is online. So mm -hmm. to get more information and to take part in the 69th annual Vermont Handcrafters Fine Craft and Art Show on November 20th and 21st, you can go to their website, vermonthandcrafters.com and click on the link to register it's just that simple. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Thank you. It's so good to see you again and next year, hopefully in person. Hey, absolutely. Thanks <laughs> a lot. See you at the show. And thank you for joining us today. I'm Fran Stoddard. Stay well. Uh -huh.